plaintiff, Latoy Harrelson, says the defendant is her sister, and the two of them have been getting kicked out of clubs for over 20 years for fighting. Latoy claims they're from Flint, Michigan, and they've been seriously affected by the water crisis. However, Latoy is suing her sister today for damaged property. Defendant Kehlani Kemp says she cannot believe Latoy is suing her knowing that Kehlani and her children are suffering from the effects of lead in their water. Kehlani claims her children have behavioral issues due to the lead and her hair even started falling out. She's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. First of all, I love my little sister tremendously. Um, we used to both be kind of ratchet, getting put out of clubs all the time for fighting, but you would have thought we would have both left that back several years ago. We still get put out of clubs because... Right anybody, now? Right now. Because anybody who she even thinks looks at her boyfriend, she just walk up to him and start swinging. Like, so we still, 20 years later, getting put out of clubs for fighting. And does the boyfriend say anything about it? No. He keeps going to clubs with her and mm -hmm. allowing that to happen? Yes. Okay, he wants to get rid of her. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. I hope you know that if that's true. I just think I'm like... trying to get you either go to jail or get you whooped. Go ahead. We got like a lot of more important stuff we need to be focused on now. Um, I have three kids. She has seven. And we actually live in Flint, Michigan, where we're going through the water crisis. And that causes a lot of health concerns. Um, me and my daughter, after showering, we itch uncontrollably. She actually has to use a cream on her skin to help with that. And my hair is falling out. Back There's in. a company that recently came to town, said they would contribute because the government has nerve enough to stop distributing water, mm -hmm. saying that the quality of water has risen. And I'm sure everyone knows by now what happened in Flint, and that is the state of Michigan, with the approval of many uh, officials, uh, allowed the water to be switched over to save money. And as a result, the water was contaminated. And since 2014, the folks have had to get bottled water. Two things have been happening. The mayor, Karen Weaver, has fought the state to get enough money from the legislature to help rebuild the pipes, new pipes, because the problem was corrosion because they switched and used the bad pipes. The government says, oh, that water's fine. So that's the status of what's happening there. So all of you who use social media to make commentary or to send letters and notice to people, send it to the uh, governor's office for the state of Michigan and to the uh, um, to your local congressman and congressperson, tell them you heard that Flint was cut off from clean water. And tell them to give you an explanation. Um, and Nestle, the Nestle company is the one said they will resume providing thousands of gallons of water. And what do you want to tell me? Give me some background. Well, she, she says you like to go to the club and fight for your honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's your man. Old, that's, that's what the, they say. That's the old <laughs> me. And she's calling me ratchet when just about three, four weeks ago, I got a text message and phone call from her stating that, um, I need you to come down to the club. I was I just got into it with this girl over her boyfriend, but I was asleep Long. getting ready for work. How often have you fought at the club <laughs> since the water was contaminated in particular? <laughs> Three times. It's the lead. You've been drinking that it's bad the, it's water. It's the lead. <laughs> you been drinking oh, yeah. that. It's, the, it's laugh the lead. About it's that. the lead. <laughs> it was the lead. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my point, though. I can't believe she really suing me, knowing the situation we in. I got seven babies. I got seven kids mm. that's drinking this water. She blame everything on Any the of them head. damaged? <laughs> well, my, I got a six-year-old that, you know, that's having learning problems, you know. Okay. And, and they, do you have a lawyer representing them? Yeah, Part well, of the class action lawsuit? Yeah, okay. I do. I recommended 34 families there who had contacted my office, my community center to help. We took a lot of water and they've called back saying they want lawyers and we recommend them to the class action suit so that folks know that they can take action and win some money uh, because of the damages they and their children have suffered, particularly the learning disorders that are projected to occur whenever there's a large <laughs> 
amount of lead, folks, if you live in lead, uh, contaminated communities, that lead causes learning uh, uh, disorders, for lack of a better term. And so make sure you don't allow them to maintain lead in your community, in your water, or too much in the household, because that's what happens. And that's what they project to happen with all these children. Um, in Flint, all of the children under 10, they suspect they may have learning challenges because of this water. I cannot afford to they buy bottles. They will have behavioral problems yeah. as well. That is also yeah. something that they state will be happening. I can't happening. believe she really sue me knowing this situation that we're in. Well, I mean, what are you spending money on? Household stuff. I, like I said, like I have seven what? kids. Like my rent, my water. Well, do now, the I, water. We still have to pay water bill, so I have to pay the water bill. My hair fell out. Had to get it cut. My kid, my six-year-old. She, Mama, I got to drink this water. Yeah, you have to drink it because I don't have anything else to give her. All right, don't let your children uh, drink that water, ma'am. Fourteen hundred for property damage. Yep. In June 2017, she came and borrowed my brand new $200 lawnmower, and I told her to bring it back the same day. I have an ad showing how much I paid for the water. What happened? She never brought it back. Well, she said when... She uh, kept saying she would bring it. She had a truck. I didn't. She kept saying she would bring and it she back. And she hasn't? When the last time you communicated with her about it? Um, in August 2017, what, she... my friend went over... August there. of 17? And you all have been hanging out and everything's been fine since mm -hmm. then? Mm -hmm. Why haven't you asked her about it? Um, I don't know. I just... Okay. She doesn't know why TV. she didn't ask you. So you tell me why you haven't paid her if it happened. Well, she... I borrowed the line more. She told me the... I thought she told me she'd pick it up, but either or, I pushed it into my garage. She had some her friend come and get the lawnmower, like some weeks later, come get the lawnmower from out of my garage. Then she called me and said that the string is broke on it. Well, okay, how did you know I broke the string or it was broken? My, you, your you friend the last one I had it. Her friend now, came let's and get got to it. your uh, <laughs> television. Now, that, when you hear somebody <laughs> saying that, I didn't know I'm the one that did it. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. In September... The TV, how does she owe you for a television? In September 2017, her 13-year-old daughter swung her cell phone charger and hit my screen of my 65-inch TV. She swung her charger and hit the screen and cracked it. The TV immediately just started showing different colors, and then it just went out. Okay. How much... Um, the TV was $1,200. Okay, ma'am, what do you say to this? Who pays $1,200 for televisions now? It was a smart Let's 3D see. TV. You have something that shows that. Yep, I got text messages from her acknowledging that she owed me for the TV, too. All right, ma'am, what do you say to this, the damage to the television? Well, her kids was messing with my daughter, and I told my daughter to come out of there, out of the den, where they were sitting in, but her kids were steady picking with my baby. My pa baby tried to grab her cell phone out of the surge protector, and it made a mistake and hit it, but had her kids not been messing with my baby, it wouldn't have happened. Has your baby not grabbed the cell phone, you mean? She just, no, she just tried to pull her charger out right. and it hit the TV. That like, hurt to crack that, the TV? You, by mistake. But your kids and do stuff in my house. I don't sue you for it. That's called negligence. No and um, 60, 65 inch. Mm -hmm. You got plenty of money. I don't have but a 52 inch. <laughs> That's the largest TV we have in our house. You got big money. <laughs> All right, then. Her, her ex-husband bought that Yeah. years ago. All right. How many years ago? About two years ago. It was well, one. Mine is six years old. Yeah. It All was right, eight hundred dollars for harassment. How does she owe you? Because she keep well, she kept calling, texting, and harassing me about this situation. I got a text message right here where she asked my friend, told me to ask my friend to buy her TV. She told you? Yeah. All right, tell me where the harassment is. Remember, keep calling me, asking me All about right. this you situation. you haven't proven it. Your counterclaim is dismissed. Yours is granted, 1400 for the property damage. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm just happy I won my case. I'm happy she won it too so she could leave me alone. I'm sick of her. They tore my stuff, but she's sick of me. But her kids is rough too, so they didn't. They don't break nothing. I just don't tell you that they broke nothing. Okay, well your fault. Because I'm not that petty.